back. So we are at Universal. I am so excited. It's been a couple weeks since we've been here, and I've been missing it so much. And we are actually here because today is the official first day of the Mardi Gras season. So we're here to try all the new foods, see what they got going on, put up the parts, and check out the tributes. Yeah, so let's head in there. I'm starving, so let's go see what's going on. Okay, so we know that there's a tribute store, but let's head into the Universal store and check out some of the Mardi Gras merch. This display out here is so cute. I love Mardi Gras at Universal. It's one of my favorite times of year. Yeah, and this is the first time we're seeing like a lot of the artwork and stuff for Mardi Gras this year, so we haven't been in a couple weeks. And I'm very impressed so far. I like this piece. Okay, so I found the hoodie. This is the back of it. Let's see the front. Looks like it's just a simple purple Universal Mardi Gras on the front. So I found a little kind of like bleach wash flannel. I'm liking the purple vibe. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, that is cute. I like that. They, so far, I'm impressed with the merch. I think I might want to get a t-shirt. Let's see if we can find one. Fun little Universal Mardi Gras mug. Looks like this seems to be the print of the year. Some fun pins, keychains, it looks like ornaments, socks. We've even got, this is the tea. Flip it over, is it the same print? Yep. Yeah, see, this. a lot of it has the same print on it. There's also a baseball cap right here that'll run you 30 bucks. Okay, we have a fun, cute little yellow one. I like this one better. Flip it over. Okay, see, we're getting somewhere. This mug also matches that, well, not mug, cup also matches that same thing we have the pins keychains everything in this print as well oh my god is this a universal yeah, <laughs> stanley wow well like it's almost like the simply modern cups to be honest it's really cute uh, a fan backpacks and socks we got another tee with like a kind of cold shoulder vibe so initially i was drawn to this shirt because of the tie-dye and the colors you want to flip it over, okay? Maybe we got a cute little Mardi Gras logo on the back, but the fabric is really oh, stiff yeah, and... Stiff yeah, I don't love that. But we also have this fun little mug, too. The same hoodie. So I'm sure there's going to be more in the tribute store, but we'll head over there. All right, so if you guys didn't know, Universal did actually switch over to a facial recognition rather than the thumbprint. So we'll kind of show you guys how that works. Yeah, it looks like it might be moving a little bit faster, but... It doesn't look like to be making that big of a difference. Yeah, it's a very busy day here at Universal. No, this is always one of our biggest tips for Universal is the refillable cups. And you know that we forget ours every single time. So we got the Mardi Gras one. We figured this was fitting. After the annual pass holder discount, it was about $18. But now all of our drinks are included for the day. So really not that bad. So it looks like they're getting the stage here in Animation Courtyard all set up for the concert tonight. So, and there's actually people, as you can see right over here, there's actually people already posted up waiting for the concert tonight. Right now it is only about 11 in the morning. And the concert doesn't start till 8. I think Walker Hayes is tonight. So here's some of the live concerts that are offered during Mardi Gras. And they won't be every night, but during select nights. So it's really important to keep this list in mind on the days that you're coming. Because the crowds will be significantly higher. Such as today. It's extremely busy because it's opening night of Mardi Gras. And Walker Hayes seems to be a popular one. I know the All-American Rejects, Casey and the Sunshine Man, DJ Khaled, Queen Latifah. There's going to be a lot of really popular ones this year. Alrighty, so we felt that it was only fitting to start New Orleans, so we had to start with the classic fried green tomato po'boy, and this also comes with chips. So this is a fried green tomato po'boy, flash fried green tomatoes, lettuce, onion, pickles, and a Cajun remoulade served with Cajun kettle chips. So this sounds phenomenal, so let's give this a try. Got the little American flag. It is very messy, so Okay. The bread is pretty soft, it's not pretty. I feel like no matter how I eat this, it's just gonna make a mess. So we're, we don't judge each other, we're all friends. The remulon is amazing. I really love the spices and the flavor in that. That's really, really good. The tomatoes are nice and warm, crunchy and fresh. 
I do feel like it is missing something. I feel like maybe like a shrimp or something like that. However, I do think it's a phenomenal vegetarian option. So I feel like this is a really strong option if you're looking for something vegetarian. This is really, really yummy. I love the sauce on it. Let's give the, I think these are Cajun chips as well, right? And yep. they're kettle cooked, my favorite. They're good. They don't really taste like more than like a sea salt kettle chip, but they're good. They're crunchy. They're not stale. I'll take it overall. I think I'd give it like a seven and a half out of 10. Pretty good start. I want to see what you think about it. All right, so let's give this thing a shot. It's pretty good. Very bready. Mm -hmm. I could use like a, like something like a shrimp or a chicken or something like that, but it is. The remoulade is really what makes it. The remoulade is really delicious. The tomato is good, but I don't know if you can see this or not. But that's like a half a slice of one tomato, and there's another half slice of one tomato here. So we're literally only getting one slice of tomato that's deep fried in this. Besides, that's my only complaint about it. I have about that. Besides that, it's really good because this was with our discount. It was over eleven dollars, so that's why I'm complaining about how much tomato we're getting on the sandwich. Like, I feel like it should be stuffed full of green, fried green tomatoes, especially since that's kind of like the base of it. So there is no meat on it, but it still tastes delicious. I'd probably give it a solid six and a half out of ten. Okay, so my favorite part about Universal Mardi Gras is the food and beverage card. So every year they have an annual pass out a card, which is this one. And this card is we paid $120 flat for $150 worth of whatever we want we can get at the festival. And these things actually last past the festival. So a good pro tip is coming in the end. So look out for that. We'll tell you that later. But they also have a non-annual pass holder one, a yellow one. That is $75 worth of stuff for $60. Stopped at the Columbia booth and I got the Columbian burger. It's a grilled burger with Monterey Jack cheese, pineapple cabbage slaw, cilantro garlic sauce, and potato sticks. So let's give this thing a shot. Uh, like a very good sized burger. Yeah, this was like cheaper than the po' boy. Yeah, this was cheaper than the po' boy. This is only $9.99. And the po' boy was $12.99 before our annual pass discount. So yeah, that's another thing to say with the cards you don't necessarily like you get an annual pass holder card but you don't get a discount whenever you pay for it but every item that you pay for you get a discount on so is that the columbia street potatoes <laughs> pineapple and monterey cheese yes it does i want a bite so bad let me get one can you believe a burger for 9.95 yeah what a deal <laughs> get again so, I seen him, as I was recording that last clip talking about the burger, I seen him come up and he was eye-dogging me. So I know he was going to call up and say something, but I thought the character's here. The character's here and definitely the best. So let's try this burger. He said he's been staring at the sign for three days on this burger, so hopefully it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. Alright. So, the burgers perfectly cooked, they're nice and juicy. The cabbage slaw, it's like a pineapple cabbage slaw, so it gives it a perfect little sweetness, but then the garlic cilantro aioli cuts the sweetness perfectly. I love the garlic, very garlicky, very juicy, very delicious. I give this a solid eight and a half out of 10. Hey, you guys know I'm a picky eater. You know I'm trying to try new things. So, this smells really good, and by how long the line was, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Let's get it. I'm trying to get it not so this Yeah, the pineapple slaw really does add like a nice sweetness crunch to it. The burgers are pretty juicy. I think they were making them fresh order because it did take a minute, but it was definitely worth the wait. I would get this again. The bread is not too like hard, it's nice and soft, but it supports all the sauce. The potato skins are fun to add to it. I'd put probably seven and a half, eight out of ten. It's pretty good. So our next stop was over in Italy and we got the Roman Supoli. 
This is mozzarella and provolone filled risotto with a vodka sauce and a roasted red pepper aioli. And this is fried. And one thing that we did want to point out that we've noticed is we had to wait just a little bit for everything. They, have, they do move very quickly, but expect maybe like a five minute wait at most because they are making everything fresh, like per person, like there's nothing just sitting on the apps that we've seen so far. We'll keep you updated if that does change. But as of right now, everything's been pretty fresh and we go in and so let's give this a try. I'm excited. You guys know I love anything. Italian, mozzarella, and this is definitely my flavor palette. Let's get, oh, I'm so excited for this roasted pepper aioli. That sounds heavenly. Nice and crispy. Have you ever had like a rice ball? Very, very similar to a rice ball. Nice and crispy on the outside with the risotto. Nice and nice and like perfectly authentic inside. Nice and cheesy. Not too salty. This is really good, honestly. Even for the price of $7.99 before I can pass it out, I'd give it probably like a 9 out of 10. Like, this is really good. This is definitely my favorite so far. The burger is a close second. But this is really good. Uh, it's kind of sweet, you think? Uh, I didn't know this thing, what, anything about this was when we first got it or when we first seen it, so I'll just have to try it. Up, we have our Bloody Mary bar. Me and Kyle are kind of repulsed by Bloody Marys, I'm not gonna lie, so we definitely will not be trying one. But this is the perfect spot to come and grab one right across from everybody's favorite attraction, you know, Fast and Furious. So you can get the Bloody Mary Wild, which has the hot sauce, or you can get the Bloody Mary Mild. So I think that's kind of a cute play on words there too. Alright, so we stopped at the China booth and I got the pot stickers. These are these are pork pot stickers served with black vinegar and chili oil dipping sauce. So chili oil usually has to be spicy, so I'm gonna go a little light on the sauce. I love pot stickers, and pork pot stickers are great. One bite, you already know what it is. Those are really good. The pot stickers delicious. The pork is very juicy and tender on the inside. But as you can see, they all have a nice little crisp to them, and I love that about pot stickers. The dipping sauce, it's good. It's got a real good kick to it. The only complaint I have about it is it's really oily. It's like kind of like, kind of like the oil you get when you get like a bread service to dip the bread in oil. It's like that kind of sauce. That's my, but it is delicious. Got a little kick to it. I probably give it a solid seven out of ten. Okay, so remember how a little bit earlier in the video we told you guys about these cards and how we get a pro tip coming. So as you guys can see back here, they're actually selling twisted taters, which usually you can only get during Halloween Horror Night. But speaking of Horror Night, if you buy an extra one of these for the last day of last week even or any point during Mardi Gras, you can save it, don't spend it at Mardi Gras, and then basically your food is free at Halloween Horror Night. Girl back. All right, so as we were making our lap around for Mardi Gras, we decided to come over to the old kid zone area and check out the progress of the new DreamWorks area. So this right here is the Shrek Swamp area. So this is gonna be a full Shrek Swamp, full size. And as you look over here, they're craning something in and dropping something in, but it's completely covered in tarp. So I'm guessing that it's something that they don't really want us to know what it is or anything like that quite yet. So I'm very interested, but we are very excited to see this land when it is complete. Okay, so we just showed you guys Shrek Swamp and we turned around and over here and over here is where you'll find Shrek doing his meet and greet. I'm assuming this is his temporary location while they are doing some renovations on his swamp over here. Okay, so we stopped at the Canada booth and I got the candied bacon and onion poutine and it's candied bacon spiced curly fries with caramelized onion gravy, cheese curds, spiced maple bacon, and parsley. So 
let's give this thing a shot. And I'm gonna say, this is by far the biggest thing that we've gotten so far. I think it was just over $10 with tax after our discount. This thing is large and in charge, so let's give this thing a shot. A bait with everything, a little bacon, a little curly fry, a little cheese curd, a little gravy. The fries are perfectly crispy. The cheese curds are nice with a lot of them in there. And the onion gravy is really good. It's not like crazy oniony, but it's got like a lot of flavor in it. The bacon, it says it's maple bacon. It's got a tiny bit of maple to it, but it's not really too bad. I don't get any spice to it at all. Maybe I just didn't get the right piece, but I'd give this a solid 7 out of 10. I don't know if I'd come back to it or not. All right, friends, so our next stop is actually in Mexico, so I'm pretty excited for this one. We got a couple things. So we started with the quesabiria, the birria beef, and a corn tortilla with Monterey Jack cheese served with a birria broth. So I'm very excited to try this. I love quesadilla. We got one, like a quesadilla in Disney Springs. Phenomenal. What? Oh. I, can't. I don't remember. Four Rivers. It was Four, like Four Rivers, Rivers Cantina, I think. Yeah. I think that's what it was called. If not, I'll put the name in right here, but it was so good. Like, I was still dream about it. So, hopefully, my expectations are that this is going to kind of compare a little bit. Now, we did wait for this. There was an extremely long line. They were making these fresh. Everybody was waiting to get one of these, so I feel like it's going to be a hit. Make sure I get some cilantro and onions. Duh. Good bite. It's a mess. This is probably like in my top two of the day. Like this is, it's not as better than the one at Disney Springs. I will say that, but the flavor, and the juice and like oh it is so good this is nine and a half out of ten easy it's really like fresh with the onions and the cilantro that is probably my biggest complaint is i wish that it came with like some fresh onions and cilantro like chopped on the side i love to put onions and cilantro on my tacos so i think that would kind of take it over the edge for me but it still is pretty solid choice it's not too salty really good all right, let's see if you agree. It's very crispy and delicious. It smells good. The beef is super tender. It's melt right in your mouth as you chew it. The corn tortilla has got a perfect crisp to it, and that sauce is delicious. Like you, like she said, I agree. I think it needs a little bit more of like cilantro and onion in or on top of it to give it a little more of a crunch. This is a solid item. So, we're in Mexico. We're ordering that. Massing churros, so I couldn't help myself. These are the churro loops with chocolate, the big sauce. Mexican top. This is the churro loops with Mexican chocolate, the big sauce. Let's give it a shot. You know me, I love churros. I'm gonna get this one because it has more powdered sugar on it. <laughs> dip it. Oh, that's some good thick chocolate top. It's not like the watery chocolate you get from Disney, it's like actually <laughs> thick chocolate. No, no shots made at Disney, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, like, I, it's not watery, it's like Hershey syrup, you know what I mean? Like, just good old Hershey syrup. This is like hot fudge. Yeah, it, nice and thick. It's thick, it's really good, it's actually... I didn't really taste much of the churro because I had a lot of chocolate on there. The churro is really light and fluffy and delicious and crispy. A bunch of cinnamon sugar on it. You know I love churros. It's an easy time. Come yeah. and get more churros. Okay, so you guys just saw Kyle try the churros. I wasn't going to report my reaction to this churros chocolate, but it's like a spicy chocolate. It's like got a nice, I don't know if it's like a chili chocolate, but it's got a nice little kick to it. I like it. The longer it like sits in your mouth, you get a good aftertaste of it. Oh, I think we're getting a Maryland intermission. So here she goes. Oh Lord. She's so beautiful. Did you she wave to us? Did you see hear that little girl? No. She goes, Oh my god, it's Mary Poppins. Aww. <laughs> I love kids. I really do. They're so sweet. Okay. As you can see, we finished the churros. 
but there's not enough because I still have chocolate sauce. And the more I eat the chocolate sauce, the more intrigued I am because it doesn't say anything about it on the menu, but I could swear there's some sort of like spice or something. That's maybe that's why they call it a Mexican dipping chocolate chocolate dipping sauce or something, but there's like some sort of spice or kick at the end of it. It's throwing me off. But yeah, it's so delicious. But it's so it's yeah, so, it's so good. good. And the chocolate before you get the spice is like so rich and like it's it's leaves delicious. you wanting more. Exactly. Thank you very much. It leaves you wanting more. <laughs> and I want more. Okay, so it looks like they have moved the entrance for yeah. this year's Mardi Gras tribute store. Yeah, this the last tribute store was here was the Jurassic, the Jurassic Park tribute store. Right? It's Christmas. Oh. Oh my Christmas goodness. Tribute store. And, but either way, both of those tribute stores started on the other end and ended here. This one starts here and ends over there. So let's go check it out. Turn it in. When you walk in, this is kind of like the opening room. Okay, I'm not sure if we saw this print on a sweater earlier, but we have a fun crop sweater, that same backpack. Ooh, we have the candle. The same fan and socks, but it's definitely busy in here, so we'll show you what we can. You guys know I'm obsessed with all of the Universal candle scents, so I have to smell all of them. This one? I can smell it from here. It smells pretty good. It's like it fresh does. smelling. Like, I, was, I don't know why I was expecting more of like a sweeter scent, but it's like glory and fresh. Glory, florally, and fresh. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And it's two purple colors, so points for me. I don't think we've seen this shirt either. I actually like this shirt so far the best is there anything on the back of it it's black light activated too yeah that one's pretty cool i like that one all right so over here we have our annual pass holder merch this one is fun i like that design. we got the mardi gras symbol in the back looks like we have the same pattern on a mug as well as the pins and of course the magnets we've got to have the magnets but why is it not free that's that's what i was literally going to say i thought like Aren't we supposed to... What? There's a price on it. <laughs> Got the Mardi Gras ducks. Oh, there's a couple different ones. They're so cute. <laughs> okay, we even have some specialty hot sauces. It looks like we have habanero garlic, the devil's blood. We have dragon's breath and pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice kind of... I don't know, it sounds yeah. pretty foul. <laughs> okay, we found a cute little crew neck. What does the back look like? Oh, just plain. This one definitely is really, really detailed. It's cool. It's not as like, I don't know. It's definitely has a lot of character and it's very New Orleans Mardi Gras personality. But we do have we do have the same beads or buzz on the t-shirt, so I think that's. A, I like this pattern too, but honestly, none of the merch is really screaming to me. I feel like Disney is definitely superior with the merch. Yeah, this that's is for sure. Cute though. Yeah, that one's cute, but I also feel like I could make that with my cricket. So. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even realize that when you walk by, this looks like a normal wall, but behind it, this effect pops up. See how the light's shining through right now? That is phenomenal there's so much grass and greenery and bayou and i just i love it all we even oh there's a whole boat right here it looks like we're walking on the water all right so a lot of it is mostly the merch that we have already seen but we did find this cute little side bag as well for 30 dollars 30 bucks, no, not too shabby. So you can see the gator, let's see if he comes back out. But it's like you're walking through the swamp in the water. There he goes. Okay, so we're gonna stop and get a couple sweets. So we will see you and surprise you what we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donna, I even looked at Donna, I was like, wait a minute, Donna, what's going on? So, so just, so just more like, <laughs>
So this right here, I feel like it's a lot better because usually at the end of the trivia store, there's a huge line. You gotta kind of weave through people to get your snack item, and then you still have to go to the end and pay for all your merchandise. Here, you get you pick your snack. They give you a little cool card that they can just wipe off and go to the next guest. Then you pay for it all at once and pick it all up at once at one time. This little guy is the plushie and the mascot for Mardi Gras this year. He is actually pretty cute, I can't lie. Even though he's on every single piece of the merch. Alrighty, so we just walked out and this is what the exit looks like. I feel like this might be like one of the best themed areas in the whole store. Got a whole rainstorm going on back here. The skeleton's eyes are going. This is such a fun tribute store, honestly. I really, it's not my favorite, but it is really fun. All right, so as we were leaving the tribute store, I had to stop and get this king cake whoopie pie. I've had it, I think, in the past. It is delicious, as, I've, as I remember. Uh, I think it's too sprinkly and messy to pick up. I know that's not something that I usually don't do, is pick it up and shove it in my mouth, but I'm gonna hit it with a spoon. <coughs> Ooh. It is like filled with the, the filling. It's delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. The king cake is very like cinnamony and king cakey. It's delicious. But it's not like a dry cake. It's very moist and like fall cake. It's really good. I'd probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. But like you said, there kind of is a little too much icing in it. But I would give it. The only thing I have to say about the tribute store though is you have to go pay and you can't use your gift card in the tribute store. And after I sat down and thought about it for a second, that makes sense, but I was kind of thrown off for it because I wanted to go pay for a food item. I said I couldn't use it. You know, you can only use it at the food booth. But the reason why I think you can't do it is because they don't want you to go and obviously get merch and then pay for the merch on the, on the gift card. So if you're going to the tribute store and expecting to use your gift card to pay for a snack like this, you can't do that, unfortunately. So the tribute store this year is a really good tribute store. The theming is incredible because I don't know if you've seen this, if she showed you or not, but like there was all like, it looked like you were walking through a swamp in the second room and like walking through like a, a broken down pier and like a swamp kind of area. But besides that, like I feel like the tribute store was like a little bit lackluster. There wasn't as much merch as there has been in the past. And like, like all the merch that we've seen in there, there may have only been one or two things, which they were all pass holder stuff, which makes sense. But that weren't in the main store that we've seen out front of the park and the main store that we've seen at the front of the entr entrance of the park. Okay, so I don't want to <laughs> cut you off, but I do also think that this spot is just like, I do not like this spot for the tribute store compared to the other one. Like, yeah. it's so much smaller. Yeah, awesome. I feel like everybody is jam-packed in there, but it's also opening day, so we have to take yeah. that into consideration. This tribute store is much smaller, and this year they, like, it's a fortunate thing that they did, but they, they like, they paid more attention to theming and stuff in this store, which is an amazing thing, because like we said, the, like the inside and the theming to the tribute store is fantastic, but there's like so much theming that there's more theming areas than there are merchandise areas, which is okay because it is a tribute store, it's tributed to Mardi Gras, but it's also a store as well. You guys know what time it is so we had to end with my hair has been insane this whole video so i'm so sorry but i am so excited we had to end with the beignets and they're hot and fresh and they came in this cute little bag you can like shake your powdered sugar on them now these are no mickey beignets these are supposed to be more like closer to authentic um and i have been to cafe de Monde, so i'm going to kind of compare it off that but in the past i have loved universal beignets so I love them because they're cute and small. They're not like ginormous, but they are going to make a mess, so. I think we should cheers it and embrace this moment together. Our first day so nice. of the Red Okay. Cheers. Cheers. But it tastes just like a Mickey one. <laughs> yeah. So, typically, like, I feel like a traditional beignet is a little bit more airy on the inside. This is nice and fluffy, just like the Mickey beignets, which is what I prefer. 
so I do love this, but if you don't prefer the thick, fluffy, almost like a donut base, this may not be the biggie for you. But I enjoy it. I would give these a solid 10 out of 10. I yeah. think we're ending with a bang. Oh yeah, always. Mm -hmm. Alrighty friends. friends, so we just finished up our laugh at Mardi Gras for our first day. It was so much fun. We tried so many good foods. Yeah, all the food that we had here was delicious, and there was only a couple, no, there really wasn't anything that, there's only really one thing that I had to complain a little bit about, but besides yeah. that, it was everything was delicious and it's opening day so stuff may change you know we'll be back a couple of times yeah. we still have half a gift card yeah i was gonna say we definitely will be back if we have half of our gift card mm -hmm. so technically really we only spent like 30 bucks today and we ate all of that food because yeah. of the gift card aspect of us getting that free $50, so. yeah it was really awesome so we definitely have some sweets left to take back with us but if you like this video give us a like a comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification button and we'll see you guys next time. Love you, bye! bye.